Okay, turn him out. I'm gonna have that rider for my rodeo again. Buy my horses and I'll loan him to you. All right, it's a deal. I'd buy every horse on the place to get him. Well, Sunset, you just busted your own record. Is that what I lit on? You're riding again for me this year, Sunset. Does he boat the horses? That all depends on you. Sure, I'll ride for you. All right, it's a deal. Hey, wait a minute. You're not hoisting that pal of yours on me again this year. Who, Frog? Yes, Frog. He's my partner. Well, the deal's off. I had enough of that jelly bean last year. OK, no Frog, no me. Oh, Sunset, wait. Mr. Bailey, please don't worry about Frog. He's a different man now. Isn't he, Sunset? Sure. <laughs> All right, then, but, uh... Sunset, come quick. Frog's been took bad again. Excuse me, fool. Well, that settles that. Oh, no, it doesn't. Look, I'll guarantee in writing to have Sunset and the horses ready for you. And I'll take care of Frog in the meantime. Okay. You've got a month. Don't you let me down, young lady, or it'll cost you money. Plenty of it. Draw up your contract. See you later. Like so? Just a little to the right, Charlie. Yes. Now. Hi there. Oh, heavenly. But I'm a sick man, Charlie. I'm really ailing. I'm not long for this world. Uh, yes, that's too bad. Uh, I brought you a pie. That always seems to do you good. <laughs> it helps, Charlie. It helps. Uh, say, wait a minute, Mr. Frog. You eating up my pie tin. Mm. And as long as I can remember, he's been taking pills and writing verses for his gravestone. I know, but he's only trying to cure himself. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do something to help him. Charlie, if I was to go sudden-like, would you see to it that this is put on my headstone? Well, now he's going sudden-like. I took pills to cure my ills, and I was raised on barley water. I'm a simple lad, neither good nor bad, no better than I order. How you like that, Charlie? Oh, it sounds kind of corny. But it ought to get you through the pearly gates. Never mind, Charlie. Get back to your cooking. Yes. Hello, Poppy. I guess I can't make it. It's in here. No, it isn't. It's in here. You're fired. I guess I'm losing my hearing, too. No, you're not. You heard me. I said you're fired. Oh, you don't mean that. You can't fire a frog. It'd be like selling your own brand. Oh, I can't, eh? You're fired. Oh, don't say that. Your pappy would turn over in his grave if he heard that. Poor Dad may have fallen for that stuff, but not me. Frog, there's not a thing wrong with you that little work won't cure. And I've got an idea that'll either kill him or cure him. It says right here in this pamphlet that I can't do no work of no sort. Why, if I did, I'd just pass away like that. A male order diagnosis. Do you know what's really the matter with you? What? You you're a hypochondriac. Oh, have I got that, too? I'm going. I know I'm going. You certainly are. And I'm going to prove to you that you're not sick. Now, you're going to a doctor, the best there is in Minnesota. Minnesota? Oh, that's a jillion miles away. Uh, that's more than 100. My heart would never take it. Well, then Sunset will help you. And you're leaving now. Sunset, get him out of here and see that it gets there. <laughs> Sunset, old pal, bring them a pills, will you, please? Which ones you want, the green ones or white ones? Well, the green ones seem to help me most. What do you got here? Oh, it's just a little something I'm carving for my grave. <laughs> You're the wellest-looking sick man I ever saw. Sunset, any time I may go out just like this. See there? I printer committed suicide. Whoop, 
farther away than I thought they were. Hey, by God, there's two of them over there. Now, you fellas fan out. We're coming on from all sides. Sunset, this is such a lovely and peaceful spot. Yeah, you could die happy here. Yes. I have a feeling that something like that may happen any time now. All right, up with your hands. What's this all about? As though you didn't know. All right, boys, if he makes a move, plug him. Come on, come on, on your feet. I can't, I'm too weak. Oh, yeah? Well, then maybe this way. You shouldn't do that. I'm a sick man. Yeah? Well, you ain't going to be for very long. No. Well, I guess we gave the gold earned shirt the slip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, take a look over there. That's the sheriff, all right. Sure, the big fella. He sure has. Well, we can sneak up on him and blast him. You're gonna be the death of me. Yes, sure, I sure am. Say, what's the idea of this, anyway? You'll find out soon enough. Now, come on, get to your horses, you fellas. Hurry up. <laughs> Job that bank killing. You must have plugged six of them. You like that, huh? Yeah. But you better get going. We'll meet you in the hideout. Sure thing, brother. Come on. Say, who were those fellas? I don't know. I've never seen them before. You've never seen them before? Say, what's this all about? A dream brought on by my weakened condition, I suppose. Oh! My condition. I'm a sick man. We've got to get to a town. There must be a town somewhere. I've got to get to a doctor. Take it easy. Look at that sunset. They've here to me. Say, I'm going to like this place. You sure you haven't been here before? No, you know I haven't. Uh Hi, stranger. Hi. What'd you scare him for? Now, look, don't start that over again. Hello, Sonny. Hello. Mother! Must be something about you that upsets people. Yeah, that something could be you. What's the matter with these crazy people? Well, even our best friends won't tell us. It must be you. Hey, there he is again. 
again. Uh, this time, we ain't gonna let him get away. Uh, boys, that man is worth $10,000 to me if we can take him alive. Okay to blow an arm off of him, Sheriff? Just so long as he's breathing. Now, I've got an idea. We'll back him for sure this time. Let's go in there and get that gold coin of yours changed before I go over to the doctor's, because some of them sawbones don't give you no change. Sure, come on. Pardon me. Pardon, Granite. Sunset, please. Could we get this change, please? Yes, sir. Well, this is the dad gummedest town ever I was in. Five is thirty, then make sixty-six thousand dollars. Sixty-six thousand dollar reward and a penny any sheriff has to grab them all. Are you sure it was beefsteak? Sure, I'm sure. They got a net over him. I saw the whole thing. Well, with all of these, the big boy's as good as hung, unless we do something. Well, what do we do, slugs? We'll go there and blast him out. <laughs> Any blasting done around here, I'll do it. Beefsteak. What's the matter? You've seen me before, haven't you? But beefsteak. Gopher says you was in jail in Medicine Springs. He did. I tell you, I just came from there. I saw everything with my own eyes. And how could I be in Medicine Springs when I just left Boulder Creek? What's the game, you double-crossing rat? Are you trying to take over this gang? Speak up or I'll choke you to death. So help me, beefsteak. They've got a guy in there that's a living image of you. Maybe I'd better ride into town and find out. I'll find out. If this is a trick, I'll tear you to ribbons. Myself, personally. But you can't be seen in town. Don't worry. Beefsteak will be in town, but he won't be seen. So you admit he's a killer, huh? Sure. He just loves to shoot people. He's as deadly as a rattlesnake. Mm, he is, huh? Say, how many people has he killed? Dozens of them. And all in cold blood, too. All right, come on, you fellow. Your evidence will sure hang that partner of yours. Glad to do it, Sheriff. Thanks. Say some feller just killed dozens and dozens of people? Yeah, without batting an eye. Oh, that's terrible. Who was it? You. Me. What? Shh. Don't you shush me. I never killed nobody, and you know I haven't. Come here. I got this whole thing figured out. Yeah, you got it figured out right here. It's all a frame of a poppy, I'm sure it is. You think poppy's trying to scare me? Yes. You got a weak heart and everything, so she's doing all this to show you haven't. Oh. That's what she meant by killing me or curing me. <laughs> the old shock treatment. Mm, if it's shocking she wants, I can shock them. Boy, I'll have them going around here in circles. <laughs> Did you see him? No. Hey, you want to see the car? 
sure. Well, give me a dollar and I'll stir him up. Give him the dollar. Okay, here we go. Touche! You quit that, you little heathen! Jumping Jehoshaphat. Son said it's that sharpshooting kid again. You gotta do something about it. My head's just a mass of welts. It's a trick. It can't be a trick. You can see him for yourself. But I tell you, it's a trick. There's no other face like mine. Hello there. Hello yourself. Let's get out of here. Who are you talking to? Talking to myself. By golly, I was talking to myself. I'm free. I broke jail. I just rode away in a wagon. Are you crazy? No, I'm out there in a wagon. I saw me. You better stop taking those pills. <laughs> Sixty-six thousand dollars reward, and they think that screwball's me. <laughs> Slug? Yeah? I got a job for you. I want you to find out all you can about that dopey looking guy. I've got an idea. A terrific idea. <laughs> Can't you settle down? We've been here two days now, folks, and I'm getting kind of tired of this joke. Oh, I like it here. Peaceful and quiet. Sunset, listen to this. Oh, take me out and bury me deep. And leave me there for my last long sleep. That beautiful? Gorgeous. Hand me my pills, will you? All right, come on, you two. You're going out, the both of you. We're going home? You're going home, all right, but not right now. No, a lady reporter wants your life story. Come on. That's another one of Poppy's jokes. And you just keep your eye on me. All right, lady. There's the killer. Sit down. I suppose you want my life story. If you please. Well, I was born in the middle of a rip-roaring Indian fight. I was traveling with my aunt at the time. My mother was there, too. And my pappy. My pappy, where was pappy? Mm -hmm. Then I shot the stagecoach driver, and I killed every one of the passengers. Ten of them. Just make it an even dozen. In cold blood, too. It was cold blood, wasn't it, Sunset? Sure, freezing. And then? And then I ate the horses. You ate the horses? All six of them, right down to the whiffle trees. Wasn't that something? That's something, all right. Hanging's too good for you. Excuse me. Take a look at this. Following our we hitting the headlines. <laughs> You can run for judge after this. Wow! Can I see it? Well, you sure can, sure. Sheriff home to collect 66 so and so. And a hanging is certain. Sure, ain't that nice? Uh, say, that's an awful good picture, you, huh? Yeah. Sunset, you told me this was just a joke. Tell them who we are. This joke's quit being funny. No, no, this ain't any joke, cowboy. You don't mean to tell me there's someone else like him. No, sir, that is him. You mean I'm really the killer? Yes, sir, and that ain't all. You just confessed to it. Oh, <laughs> that was just fun. Fun, huh? Well, we're going to hang you and let you stay laughing. I've had enough of this. Come on, Frog, let's get out of here. Hey, don't you fellas make a move or this will never get to a hanging. Thank you. 
Take it easy now. Easy. That's just, don't worry, we'll get, uh, say you get away from him now, you've caused enough trouble. Oh, oh, no, easy, I, my goodness, you, you'll, you'll have to pull his head off. Say, you go on, get out of here now, you get out of my jail and stay out. You almost killed him, and he's worth plenty of money to me. Oh, so you're getting paid for this. Yes, I sure am, and I don't want you around here messing things up. Now go on, beat it. Okay, I'll beat it. Ride back to Miss Poppy Calhoun and tell her what I think. Yes, I did, don't say! Oh, 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 no! Don't move, stay right where you are. Stay right. Oh, my goodness, you've had an awful rough time, haven't you? <laughs> Take it easy now, look out for splitters. Push your head, can you? Ah! Push it, push it that way a little bit. Ah! Well, pull it this way, then. Here, oh, that's it, I... All right, Poppy, you can ship him with the other horses. Put him in the corral. Oh, by the way, have you heard from Sunset or Frog? Don't worry about them. They'll be all right. Sunset! Hello, Charlie. Where's Miss Poppy? Over by the corral. Where's Frog? You'd be surprised. Well, goodbye, Poppy. Bye. Sunset, what's the matter? Plenty. Well, has anything happened to Frog? As though you didn't know. Well, what seems to be the trouble, Sunset? Are you in on this, too? Sunset, what on earth are you talking about? This. Your friend Sheriff Hoag certainly did a good job. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I ever heard of. Frog a killer? Well, I must say you boys certainly turned the tables on me. I'm glad you think it's funny. Now, wait a minute. This may not be quite so funny as it sounds. There is a killer named Disco. What? what? If you're trying to... I'm thing... not. I tell you, there is such a man. Then we better get back to Medicine Springs, quick. Get your old pals, will you? No, no, no. It'll be something in it for you. Hey, Sheriff. Huh? How much does beefsteak weigh? Oh, around 250 pounds, I guess. We need one more rock, Sheriff. You think you do, huh? Yeah. Oh. Get it. Oh. <laughs> Better make that catch a little bit stronger. It'll be all right. All right, Sheriff. This is going to be the best doggone hanging that Medicine Springs ever had, huh? Sure will. Oh, but say, I'm going to take that paper over and show it to Beefsteak. Show him his picture there. Oh, he will just love that. Well, what do you think of it, huh? Well, I suppose I should really be quite excited about it, but I don't seem to be able to get into the swing of it. Oh, well, that's all right. We'll soon take care of that. I guess it's my stomach. Stomach? Well, say, now, why in the heck didn't you say so in the first place? Here, I got the very thing for you. Oh, medicine? Yeah, yeah, sure. That's our secret remedy of mothers. A great big snort of it. That'll fix you up. Oh, you've got heartburn. Hey, you come on, sit down there and relax now. All right, now, that's the stuff. Now, don't you worry about a thing. Well, the stage is bringing in that reward money, just like you figured. Good. Now, get this. I want everybody on that stagecoach to get a good look at me, and I want you fellas to call out my name good and clear. Yep. Then we snatch that reward money and hightail it. You fellas stay with that stagecoach and keep them busy. Give me time to get to Medicine Springs. Get it? Sure do. Let's get out of here.
Look at that big fella. He must be the real killer. Well, here's where we clear old Frog. I'm Beefsteak Disco, and don't try any funny business. Get in there. How in tarnation did Beefsteak get out of jail? Beefsteak ain't never been in jail. That was some crazy fella. Are you really Beefsteak? Yes, I'm Beefsteak. And I'll make ground round out of the man that says I'm not. Hurry up, slugs. Sure thing, Beefsteak. Hand over that reward money. It's locked to the rail there. Then hand over the key. Give me the key. I guess that must be Beefsteak. At 66,000 bucks, not by a darn sight. You ain't figuring on taking away from that lead throw, are you? You're half right, but I figure on getting it an easier way. We'll go get Shorty's wagon and go on into town. You should have thought about your ulcers in the first place. Now, please, oh, come on, make an effort. Well, couldn't we do this tomorrow? No, sir. The law don't allow any delays. Now, look, you go through with this hanging, and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll see that you get the finest genuine granite monument in the whole of this United States. You will? Yes, sir. And paid for in cash, out of the reward money. Well, will you put anything on it that I want on it? I sure will, and there's my hand on it. Now, this is going to make a different man out of you. But I don't want to be a different man. I just want to be myself, whoever that is. I know. Let's don't do it and tell everybody that we did, huh? No, no, no. Now, look, let me put this to you in another way. You're sick. You've been ailing all your life. I, you said so yourself. I did? Well, sure. And what good are you? Just a burden to all your friends. But now here's a chance for you to do something with your life. You go through with this hanging, and then afterwards, if we find out that we've hung the wrong man, we always know that the other fellow is it. Now, you see what I mean? Well, what good will that do me? Why, you would be the West's first martyr. Why, just think of it, old friend. People will come from miles and miles around, and they'll stand there at your grave, stand there with their hats in their hands. And they'll say to themselves, here lies that old so-and-so. Uh -huh. Oh, man, I can just see it now. Just as plain as if I was laying there myself. Well, if you feel that way about no, it... No, 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 now you're the man for it. Oh, and Arizona's gonna be eternally proud and grateful to you. Just think of it. You, her man of destiny. Well, you certainly make it sound mighty attractive. I'll do it. No. For Arizona. Arizona. Oh, man. Are you sure you feel all right? Well, I think I'm sticking my neck out. Yeah, now, don't lose your head. Come on. Hey! Hey! Oh, thank you. Thank you, folks. Now, oh, there you are. 
you see what I mean. They sure go for this stuff, don't they? Oh, sure. Say, do you want to make a speech of acceptance? Well, I might tell them I've been awful sick. Yeah, that's... Oh, no. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Get your ulcers, that's all. Here. Take a slug of that. You'll be walking on air in a minute or two. Hot throat and penis. Half right off before they're all gone. Peanut, popcorn. Hot buttered popcorn. Just right off and get them on the hot. Hot throat and peanut. Here they are. Hot throat and peanut. Popcorn. Yeah, how's that? You comfortable? Well, it's a little tight. Oh, well, you'll get used to that. That's well, I'm choking up for his whole lady. You stepped on my corn. Say, you want to be careful. You almost hung yourself. Oh. Uh, we get going now, because I don't want to stretch this out any longer than I have to. Ladies and gentlemen. Fletcher, look, when I fire the gun like that, then you pull that gadget down there, will you? Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your interest for just a minute. <laughs> now, don't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't do that. Ladies and gentlemen. I told you not to do that. What, what do you mean? Say, if you didn't have that rope around your neck, I'd break it. Well, don't you let that stop you, brother. <laughs> You're going to be the death of me. Sheriff, here comes the stagecoach. You were driving the stage. Beefsteak tried to hold it up. Beefsteak? Yeah. Well, how did I do that? Beefsteak, all right. I talked to him. Oh, you did? Oh, my God. Uh, just as everything was going so smooth for us. Uh, say, what about the reward money? It's up here. Oh, well, then I guess we don't have to hunt around for beefsteak, huh? Uh, say, should we go through the hanging? Uh, you know, just like we planned? Wait a minute, Sheriff. We're going to catch the real killer. Well, can I go? Oh, sure you can. No, you can't. Go so for him. You've got to stay here just in case, you see? Yes. Uh, say, hand me that down, will you? Now, you watch the reward money. Ike, you watch him. Come on, man, we're riding. Come on. I lock him up in jail so we'll know who's who. Okay, sweetheart. Come, uh, come on. on, man. Let's go. frightened by a bobcat. Sure it wasn't a kangaroo that scared you. Well, 
What's the matter with you, anyhow? I've got a rock in my boot. In that wagon. Why didn't they let me go? Because we don't want any slip-ups. This way, we'll know that you're you and the, and, and the other fellow's him. Savvy? Oh, they want to catch him and let me go? You've got the idea. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me that. Give me that. Give it. Now remember, pal, whatever happens, Keep going, because this time they're going to shoot on sight. Well, they might kill me. If they don't, we will. <laughs> All right, come on. Get in. Let's go. Fella, you're on your own. Well, I'll tell them who I am. I wouldn't wait for that. Let's get out of here. Hey, they're splitting up. Well, never mind the other two. It's disco we're after. And this time, it's dead or alive. Stop it! It's me, Sunset! awful familiar to me. My face looks awful familiar to a lot of people these days. You heading for Medicine Springs? Yep. Yeah. Me too. I hope I get there in time for the hanging. I hope I do too. Oh, what am I saying? Yes, sir, Reed. I always say there's nothing like a good hanging. Get up. Say, it sure beats all where he got to, huh? Yeah, that beef stick sure is a slippery cut. Yeah, especially for a man his size. Hello? Hello there, hi! Pretty tough looking crowd back there. Yes, they were. Beef take disco gang. I wouldn't wonder. I wouldn't wonder. What? That's him. Hey, yeah, it's your old tip. Oh, here they come. Get him!
Hey, can you imagine him pulling a trick like that on us? What kind of bullets were you using? Just bullets. Well, I guess that takes care of beefsteak. Yeah. Well, let's, let's look around. We may find a spoonful of evidence someplace. My golly, what a golly. A uh, beefsteak! <laughs> Going to town? You betcha. I don't want to miss that hanging. I always said there's nothing like a good hanging. This is quite a rig you got here. Yeah. Hey, haven't I seen you before? I was thinking the same about you. Yes, there's two other fellas. <laughs> well, sir, I sure am one disappointed man. And I felt like a hanging, too. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. Now, say, wait a minute. Oh, I have got a beautiful idea. Say, listen, we can have a hanging after all. Yeah, but we ain't got no beef stuff. Ah, but that's the beauty of my idea. We can hang the fellow that's back here in the jail now. Don't you see what I mean? Nobody will ever know the difference. <laughs> now you're talking turkey, Sheriff. Sure. But what about Sunset? Uh, he won't stand for it. Oh, say, let's get out of here before he and the gal get back. Come on. of life I was telling you about. Thanks. Say, this will make me feel like a two-year-old. Does that really do things for you? Does it? Try some. You'll never know what hits you. No fooling. those keys. Take care of this just in case. But we got the money, why not beat it? I'm sticking right here till that sheriff comes back and turns me loose. And then there's no more beefsteak. Great stuff, ain't it? Terrific. Got a kick like a mule. Goodbye now. Well, see you again. So long. So long. Nice guy. Go ahead and deal. Thanks for the lift. <laughs> Don't mention it. 
I'll be seeing you at the hangar. You sure will. Hippopotamus out of there. He's got my shirt on. Anything you say, Beefsteak. And quit calling me Beefsteak, see? Okay, Beefsteak. Now, come on out here. You come on in. looking brute. Coming from you, that's very, very good. Get those clothes off before I count three. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. So now this beats the two-headed lady. No, 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 let them see where they are. Yeah, I gotta have a chance to think this thing out. I sure needed that. Why, of course, it's just as clear as mud. Why, they've got twice as much and two of everything. Let's hang them both. Sheriff, you got a noggin on you. Oh, shoot. Oh, I startle myself sometimes. Come on, let's all go out and spread the good word around. Thank you. Oh, now here comes that tall, skinny pal of his. Come on. This will tie him up. Frog! Beefsteak! <laughs> yeah, but which is which? Well, that one could be frog. Oh, no. No, that's beefsteak. Well, now, I'll tell you, the only sporting thing to do is to hang the two of them. You brute. All right, then, take your pick. That's frog. See the pills? Sure, I'm a frog. Well, I guess we'll just have to get along with just one, then. Hiya, frog. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad it's you, frog. Yes, I'm glad it's me, too. You take your bundle. Oh, no, I'll carry it. It isn't heavy. My pills. I, I must have my pills. And leave me there for my last long sleep. Put that on my headstone, will you, Charlie? Wait a minute. Come over here and sit down. What was that last verse you wrote for your tombstone, Fro? Huh? You know, the one when it'll take me back. Well, I uh, don't remember just now. I uh, guess it must be my head. Yeah. 
hit your head, no, all right. No, I'm not him. I'm me. It's all right now, so we got that all settled. We'll have you settled in just about a minute, too. Now. I'm so. Listen, if I didn't have to hang you, I'd knock your block off for you. Come on, let's get him out. No, Sunset! Sunset! You must have one of your pills, Shrug. But I don't want any pills. Well, you're gonna I have one. You. Which color do you want, white or green? No, I'm so. All right, I'll take no, green. Sunset! Sunset! I'm not here. They're horrible. Don't like those pills, A.B. Steak. No, I'm so. What do you mean? You're beefsteak, not pro. You're crazy. It wasn't a pill you took. It was rat poison. I'll kill you for this. Sheriff, Sheriff, Sunset's got beefsteak over there. Hey, I don't care whether he's got porterhouse over there. This fellow's my meat. Now get your foot off of here. Quick. Your man, Sheriff. Yeah, look, and he's stolen all the reward money. Oh, dear. No. Yeah, 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 he's still breathing. He's still, we can just make the hanging. Come on, let's uh, uh, take yeah, a speech. Yeah, yeah. That's just. Uh, all, all of it. Oh, say, whoa, wait a minute. I got a better idea. Go get the gallows and bring it in here. He's too. Okay, Sheriff. I'll uh, do the best I can. Beefsteak disco hang. Jury verdict carried into effect. Ruthless ruffian removed. Beefsteak went out in a real neck and neck finish as Sheriff Hogue managed to get his prisoner to the gallows in time to hang him before the desperado expired. It was really swell, and all agreed they must do it again sometime. Mrs. Murphy won the prize for best dressed woman. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Hi, stranger. Ain't you all gonna stay for the hanging? The hanging? Why, that was yesterday. <laughs> Say, I've seen that face before. Hey! Where's the rest of my wagon? Now I know. Let's get out of here! Hey, you! 